All right, so I thought I'd make this video to show you like the base, the absolute essentials for a digital nomad to travel with. Actually, I'm making this video after I've come back from my main first trip to Southeast Asia in which I stayed for a few, you know, several months and I know now roughly what I need and what I didn't need to take. Like, because there are loads of items that when you first travel you don't, you think you need them but then when you get out there and start traveling and actually using the things, you just realize you don't need them. Like for example, I took probably twice as many clothes as I should have done. Uh, you know, half my suit, half my um, rucksack of, of clothes just didn't be, it wasn't used. It was literally just in the bag the whole time. I didn't even open it. I had maybe two or three outfits that I would wear, you know, all the time. And then as soon as they needed washing, I'd just wash them downstairs in the laundry for, you know, for 20p or whatever it was. And then just wear them again because they were my favorite clothes to wear. There was no real need to wear the other ones. In the same way I brought, you know, I brought a jumper to Asia. That was completely unnecessary. I, did, I really didn't need to bring that. Um, I also brought things like a coat and a hat and long socks. These things, they didn't get worn or used once. So yeah, if I went, when I go back to Southeast Asia or, or really anywhere that's got a hot climate, I really don't need to be taking half of the things I took last time. But that being said, on the technology side of things, there were lots of things where, like for example, headphones, where I took the wrong type of headphone. That's literally it. Now, let me just, I just wanna walk through a few of these things because there's a few things here which actually surprised me. Like, I didn't realize that I was gonna need some of these. So firstly, a hard drive. This is a two terabyte hard drive. If you're a vlogger or if you do photography like I do, you really need a good hard drive. This is a waterproof one, it's also shockproof. You know, I took I took a 250 gigabyte hard drive with me, um, which is now, I've now, I've now got rid of that. Um, I now only will be using this hard drive. And I can't stress enough how important a hard drive has been. You've got, you know, you're gonna make, you're gonna be making lots of footage, taking lots of photos, absolutely essential. Also waterproof because if it, if, say if it rains, you know, if you drop it in a puddle or something, these things happen, you know, if you spill your drink on it as you're editing, you're gonna lose all your footage. You know, the chances are it's gonna break. So it absolutely has to be waterproof. For me, it has to also be shockproof because I throw my bag around a lot. Now, with a charging bank, I actually brought this one, this big one with me. It's solar powered and you'd think, oh, well, that would be much better. You know, you're gonna use that more. But the, the reality is, guys, the reality is it's just too big. It's too big and heavy. I ended up just leaving it in the room because I didn't wanna carry it around with me. And the only times I've ever really needed a charging bank like this is to recharge my phone maybe once. And so what I've done now is I've upgraded to this. This is a an anchor charging bank it's so much smaller so much lighter and you know it's kind of cool you know I want to take this with me whereas with the other one it's just too heavy I wouldn't even consider taking it anytime it, it just stayed in the room the whole time it stayed in the room whereas this much more likely to take with me and it's also going to be very useful it pretty much provides the same power you know maybe just two-thirds of the power of this one but it's so much smaller and lighter so absolutely essential charging bank but one that you would actually take with you. And the next one, this is actually a very new edition. I've only just got this, um, but this is a Kindle Paperwhite. This is gonna be absolutely perfect for those long flights, you know, those long haul flights where you just can't get comfortable, you can't really fall asleep, but you also don't wanna watch something. This is a way of actually keeping yourself informed, you know, reading, learning things. Next, we've got sunglasses. I'm not gonna go into detail with these. You know what sunglasses are, but just make sure you have a good pair before you go so that you don't, have, you don't end up buying those cheap, awful pairs that are sold on the side of the road because the chances are they're not gonna block out the sun properly. Again, phone, I don't need to say much about phone other than the fact that I like to use an iPhone these days. It's just easier and it's also great that it has 4K video and also slow motion. Most phones do, but yeah, I like the iPhone. Now, I can't actually show you this item properly because I'm filming this video using this camera, but I would recommend bringing one compact camera with you. In this case, I'm using a Sony RX100 uh, Mark V and it's absolutely perfect. Like the quality that this, this camera can get in terms of making travel vlogs and photographs and things like that, it's just amazing. Like I really couldn't ask for anything better. This is, this is a pretty basic one, but I feel like a lot of people don't even, don't even bring something like this. So it's a, char it's a, a universal charger for any sort of power uh, that you might need to connect to. But importantly, it has a plug here for you to plug in whatever plug you wanna use with it. But it has two USB ports on the side, guys. This is absolutely essential. The amount of times 
that I've been before I before I discovered this. You know, my first trips to Croatia and things, I would just have one charger plug, you know, and I would have to charge my laptop and then plug in the USB charger, charge my phone, and then when that's done, I would have to then charge my power bank and then and. Whereas with this, you can charge everything at the same time. And there'll also actually be a link to every item I mention in the description below. So, next, MacBook. Um, I actually, but yeah, I, I use a MacBook just because it's the smallest and lightest one I could find that does what I need it to do. I'm sure they'll upgrade this, you know, by the time I release this video, there'll probably be a different version out anyway. Um, but yeah, I really like the MacBook. It's always done me, done me proud. I've always been able to edit my videos and stuff on this. Now, the last thing I want to mention is something that I really... This is something I really wish I had when I first went on the trip. If you're going for any trip, even if it's only like a couple of weeks, noise cancelling headphones, guys. Over the head noise cancelling headphones. Now, on most of the trips I've been on, I've been using these. I've been using these, and these are like, oh, they're in-ear headphones. They're supposed to cancel out the noise, but as you can see, they get damaged pretty easily. And also, if you're on a plane, or a train, or a ferry, or even a bus, they don't cancel out the sound of that vehicle. So you're gonna constantly have that roaring of the engine or the wheels or whatever it is. And it's just gonna be, it's gonna drive you nuts, right? Especially on a long haul flight, it's absolutely awful. The headphones do block out some of the noise, but you shouldn't have to turn your music up so loud that it damages your ears just to get over the noise of the plane. Whereas something like this, these are amazing, right? They can, they can, play, they can play music for a solid 20 hours um, wirelessly, right? on one charge, and if you plug the headphone wire into them, it's unlimited, you know, it's just based on the power of your laptop or iPod or whatever it is that you're using. You can also charge them by USB, micro USB, as you're listening to them. But more importantly, you, you press this little switch here, and it starts cancelling the noise around you. Um, it really is amazing. These were only about 30 or 40 pounds, guys. You can, you can, you can obviously spend up to hundreds of pounds on noise cancelling headphones. I find these are just, just these are fine, you know. These don't these do the job. Yeah, absolutely. Get noise cancelling headphones, guys. I'll put a link to these in the description because these are very cheap and affordable. Um, they also work really well, but there are also more expensive ones you could get. You know, I, I'm not going to cover clothes because obviously you can decide on your own clothes, and that's that's not really the point of this video. The point of this video is that is all you really need to make a living as a digital nomad anywhere in the world. As long as you have an internet connection, guys, that is all you need to, to use. It really doesn't take up much room in your bag at all. Like this stuff, you, you could quite comfortably fit this in your carry-on bag, um, plus a couple of outfits, and you wouldn't even need to take a suitcase at all. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just Digital Nomad Essentials, like a packing list. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me let me know what I've missed. You know, if you're a digital nomad, or if you you're, you're about to become a di digital nomad, what do you think you're going to take, or what have you been using that I haven't used here? A lot of people like to use a DSLR camera for their photographs and their videography. That's you know that's fine. I just feel like they're too heavy and they're too bulky to carry around. Um, I like to travel as light as possible, especially when you can get you know footage like this on a compact camera like a Sony and it fits in your pocket. But yeah, maybe I've missed something. Leave a comment letting me know what you think I've missed and I'll see you next time.